what's next? It's big, it's broad, it's next on Sunday. With six sections and pullouts, including glossy color fashion magazine, Elan. There's something in it for everyone. Next on Sunday, ask your vendor and buy it. Hello and welcome to Next News. The Economic and Financial Crimes Commission on Wednesday charged Nasiru El Rufai, former Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, and two others on an eight count charge at the Federal High Court in Nigeria's capital, Abuja. The charges involve relocation of land in the capital territory to, to personal use. Mr. El Rufai and his co accused were not present because they did not receive the summons. The case was therefore adjourned to the 11th of June. Multinational oil companies on Wednesday loaded the ongoing reform process of Nigeria's oil and gas sector at an ongoing oil technology conference in Houston, Texas. ExxonMobil, Total, Shell, and Nigerian companies Orlando and Capital Oil all agreed that the reforms were in order. Mr. Mark Ward, the managing director of ExxonMobil, said the reform was coming at a time that joint venture partners of NNPC, Nigeria's national oil company, are looking to increase better collaboration, funding, and industry legislation. The death toll from an outbreak of meningitis in Nigeria has risen more than sixfold over the past two months, Minister of Health Babatunde Shitumei said on Wednesday. According to Mr. Shitumei, the number of deaths recorded as of March 31st was 2,148. The meningitis death toll in Nigeria since December is almost 50 times the number of people killed worldwide by the swine flu virus. Persistent rainfall in the past three days has disrupted the March schedule at the ongoing 31st CBN Open Tennis Championship in Lagos, Nigeria. Olushola Luke, the Secretary of the Nigerian Tennis Federation, assured that despite the rain, the tournament would end on schedule. The tennis tournament is sponsored by the Central Bank of Nigeria. A debut novel, I Do Not Come To You By Chance, written by Adele B. Trisha Wabani, is already creating a stir with critics and generating interest from media houses around the world. The novel tells the story of the real people behind the email scams. In addition to this being her first novel, she has also broken new ground by being the first Nigerian writer able to break into international markets while fully resident and based in our own country, Nigeria. She's an editor with Next Newspapers and Publications, headquartered in Lagos, Nigeria. The 400-page book is published by Hyperon in the United States and Cassava Republic in Nigeria. Thank you for watching Next News. For more information, visit our website 234next.com.